Image via Getty Jeff Kravitz to think about Keith Huffnagel is to understand possibilities. Huffnagel opened up lanes with casual confidence, not declarations or plans, and his contributions to skateboarding and streetwear culture changed their entire landscapes. He quietly transformed both by molding them into visions closer to his own interests and tastes, and that internal compass carried effortlessly across his skating, brand building, and friendships. Keith Huffnagel died on September 24. He was 46 years old. In a statement, his brand Huff said he had fought brain cancer for two and a half years. Born in New York City in 1974, Huffnagel grew up in Stuyvesant Town Peter Cooper Village. He's mentioned always having a skateboard around his house, but it was learning to ollie in his early teens that set him off exploring the plazas, corridors, and dead-end streets of Manhattan. Eventually, he'd become a local at the Brooklyn Banks, which acted as a de facto enclave for skateboarders in the tri-state area and beyond. There was just an energy in New York back then around skateboarding, Huffnagel told the Chrome Ball incident in 2018. I think because we had so many spots in Midtown, as well as the Brooklyn Banks, people from all over would not only come to skate but also hang out. It was beneath the Brooklyn Bridge that a pivotal group of East Coast skateboarders, including Huffnagel, Gino Yanucci, Chris Keefe, John Buscemi, and many others, commingled and later turned their tastes, styles, and attitude into transformative brands and movements. The spirit of early 90s New York culture was more than skateboarding hard goods, opening shops, or starting clothing companies. It became the DNA of a global lifestyle that Huffnagel embodied without having to sell, market, or promote it. What was happening at the banks and all over a then less dense downtown and midtown Manhattan was raw but also refined. Compared to the surf punk influenced skating and garish fashion of 1980s California, New York skating was raw in the way that hip hop or jazz was direct and improvisational. It was driven by emotion and determination, but never acknowledged either outright because, that just wouldn't be cool. Playing it close to the vest is New York cool, and Huffnagel's approach to skating felt like an improvisational bullet, darting with grace before maximum impact. As his skating rapidly progressed in the early 90s, Huffnagel shined by being stripped down and lean, letting essence and determination lead, his fluid style his trademark. Describing that approach is difficult because, for Huffnagel, it was automatic. You use everything around you and personalize it. So whether it was how he snapped an ollie or how he opened up lanes in fashion, it was personal, simply because it was Huff. Whether it was how he snapped an ollie or how he opened up lanes in fashion, it was personal, simply because it was Huff.